All right, so the next project we got in line is a 300 Ford six-cylinder. Uh, it come to us mostly disassembled, and we're just doing the machine work and uh, getting the customer all the parts. But uh, hang loose, and we'll get into what all we, we do into it. So we, I think the crank was in it. And yeah, maybe the crank was in it, I don't remember. But the head was still together. And so Andrew disassembled the head, knocked the cam bearings out and hot tanked everything. And uh, I hadn't really had a chance to look it over real good. But just from what I see from initial inspection, it looks really good. Uh, the valves and all look really good. I mean, obviously we're going to grind them, but the seats are in good shape, um, which is really rare. And this is an early model. I think this is a uh, late sixties or early seventies engine. So, but the, the valve guides are in good shape. The seats are in good shape. Um, it, it definitely has a ridge in the cylinders but it's not it's not really bad i mean like man some of them heck they want him clean up on 30 and i bet this one would clean up on 15 or 20 but the first oversized piston you can get is a 30 so we have 30 pistons and we're gonna we're gonna deck it we're gonna bore it we're gonna valve job it we're gonna shave the head uh, we already, unfortunately, I didn't, cause you know, we're just so busy, but I didn't know what the crank was gonna make. So we went ahead and ground the crank so we could get bearings and the rods looked really, really, really bad. So I was, I was scared the crank wasn't even gonna make it, but the rods went 20 and the mains went 10. So the, the, the mains were actually in pretty good shape, but a couple of the rods, they were they were just about ready to let go um so i will probably have to resize the rods we hadn't pushed the uh, pistons off the rods yet um so we still got to push the pistons off the rods we need to check the big ends of the rods and make sure they're good but i think first we're going to go ahead and get the block in the surfacer and go ahead and get it decked and then once it's decked, we can bore it. So uh, hang loose and we're gonna get this thing set up in the surfacer and then we'll get ready to, uh, to cut the block and then, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got it in the machine and we got it lashed down and I indicated it in and it's actually relatively flat from about here to here. And then on this end, it kind of does some stuff and it's sort of twisted a little bit also. I mean, not like terrible, but a, but a few thousands. So I, I put some dicom on the deck and I, well, I think we'll all get to see, you know, what it looks like at the same time. But, uh, but I feel like the, the pan rail and the mains are flat. Uh, but the deck is just a, a little junky and like I say it's not for a six cylinder it's not horrible but you know normally we would shim it if if it looked like it was gradually out or something but you know like I say from here to here it looks pretty good but this last little bit it sort of rolls up high some but again it's it, we still ain't talking about like two and a half thousandths or something so uh, but we'll, we'll make a little skim cut and just see what it looks like and then we'll go from there.
Come over here and look. You can see, I mean, it's a, it's a little odd how it's, how it's sagging, but it looked a little weird on down through there also, but like I say, it's so twisted up, we're gonna have to cut a little bit to get there. You can see like lines in the deck and I mean this thing had never been apart and I mean you can see like God like they drug it around on the deck at the factory or something for a while this is rough you can see that texture all the way back in here that's crazy So, but back then, you know, all this old stuff that uses a, a composite gasket, man, you can get by with a lot with a composite gasket. I remember back when I was a kid and we was doing head jobs and stuff. I mean, we didn't ever deck a block or, I mean, sometimes we shave heads, but a lot of times, man, we pull heads off, clean them up, touch up the valve job, seals, and put it right back together. Never surface a head, and it worked great. But again, you know, you had them big old thick composite gaskets. They take up a lot of error. Hey. It's amazing you see it. So this is water right here. And on every single cylinder, it's sagging right where the water's at. And uh, that's, that's crazy how, and most of the time uh, on, on four cylinder and six cylinders, where, look right here. So that's the number one cylinder. And this is where the water pump goes. And almost every single time that I, get one of these old engines that's made like this where that cold water is on that first cylinder the first cylinder is always war more than the rest of them uh just cause of that temperature differential always on this side of that one cylinder but this one i mean it's definitely war more but this one's not really that bad but i see a lot of them that's just insane amount of, of ridge on that number one cylinder. Uh, yeah, come over and look at this. So just, just look at that crazy pattern, how it's sagging. And like I say, you see it on every single cylinder. It's low where the water is on every single one of them. And then look back, you know, you got water here and look how, I mean, it's just, it's crazy how Hot, you know, I had an old timer. He was, he was my hero back when I was a teeny bopper. He always told me, he said, hot iron does not wear out. Cold iron wears out. And everywhere there's water, the iron's sagging. So it's probably gonna take about two more passes to get that cleaned up. But you know, overall, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't really that bad. So I'm gonna just make a finish pass and we'll call that good.
All right, so that cleaned it up. Uh, that looks good. So we're just going we're gonna to call it there uh, for this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we'll get it in the boring table and get it bored and honed. And uh, we're going to run it through the wash one more time. And then we can put cam bearings in it, and then we'll get on uh, get on the cylinder head. So stay tuned. We appreciate you. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on part two.